our soldiers were very resilient because they thought not of themselves, but for the people and for their loved ones and for their country. And the heroism is not only shown by the soldiers, it was also shown by Filipino people at large who were affected by the war. Maging magiti sa laban ng buhay. Maging magiting kaya mong piliin ang kabayan niya na araw-araw sa isip, salita at gawa. Tayo ay maging magiti. We are here in Lingayan, Pangasinan, the symbol and the place of the liberation of the Philippines during the World War II. We are here right now at the Veterans Memorial Park here in Lingayan, Pangasinan. And behind this shrine or behind this uh, open museum of World War II is the Lingayan Gulf. Lingayan Gulf stretches from the province of Pangasinan to the province of La Union. It's approximately 56 kilometers. The Lingayan Gulf proved to be a very good strategic place for offloading of thousands of vehicles, ammunition, and supplies that is needed for the war. It is very significant because actually there were two invasions. First, the Japanese invasion on December 22, 1941. And then the second was the invasion of the Allied forces. On January 9, 1945, the Allied forces led by then General Douglas MacArthur led the said Lingayan Gulf landings. Thousands of Allied troops landed here on the beaches or in the shorelines of the Lingayan Gulf. And this is one of the strategic plans of the Allied forces to liberate Luzon from the Japanese Imperial Army. The invasions are symbol of both loss and gain. Loss because the Philippines lost its freedom when the Lingayan Gulf was invaded by the Japanese Imperial Army and gained because it was in Lingayen Gulf that the Allied forces liberated the Philippines. The province of Pangasinan is said to be the home of World War II veterans. In this World War II Open Museum, we see different World War II artifacts and each of these artifacts tell us different stories about the war. The stories of love, the stories of hope, and the stories of bravery. It is very important to honor our World War II veterans, most especially their bravery, or what we call their kagitingan. Kailangan po namin i-maintain yung kalilisan, lalo na ako dito sa lugar ko, sa lugar namin, na kung saan nakalagay yung mga uh, mga bagay na importante na nanggaling noon sa aming history na kailangan namin i-preserve, kailangan makita ng mga uh, bawat kabataan, ng bawat mamamayan na pupunta dito uh, para malaman nila at mas ma-educate sila kung, kung uh, ano, ba ta, ano ba talagang history ng Pangasinan at saan ba nagmula. One way to be a hero is just by simply doing good things for your country. For example, keeping the Lingian beach clean. Another would be living up for what is true, living up for values. And another would be honoring our forefathers. Nagtatrabaho dito para magserbisyo sa kanila ng naayon sa aming puso. 
Ako ay tagapangalaga ng kultura at kasaysayan ng Pangasinan. Ako ay magiting. Ako ay manggagawang Pangasinan. Ako ay magiting. Ako ay tagapangalaga ng kasaysayan, kultura at sining ng Pangasinan. Ako ay magiting. Maging magiting Sa laban ng buhay Maging magiting Kaya mong piliin ang kabayanihan na araw-araw Sa isip, salita at gawa Tayo ay maging magiting